Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Wanna trade? Congratulations, mate. You've done well. Everyone stop congratulating me. The news has reached me that you defeated the GR King at last. I suppose that's to be expected from a Pokemon card master like yourself. We're free to collect Pokemon cards and battle for enjoyment now. Yay! Hey, you do have a trade. You're copy pasting your dialogue except with the new cards. Yes, there's a Togepi! I would most certainly like to grab that card, so why don't we? You know, just, just for the sake of the collection, I, I wouldn't recommend using this. I, maybe it'll be okay for early game stalls in a way, but 30 HP, eh? And Snivel, reduced by 20, that's the early game stall part, but after a while your opponent can just freely start switching and then null that. And I wipe wipe out Togepi. That Metromole might be handy though, you know, but it's gonna, probably going to be a one, one shot or two shot deal, y'all. Uh, but yeah, the energy requirements and stuff like that is very similar to the Clefable, hence why he wanted to trade for this. It's kind of very similar in that regard, other than the HP and evolution. You have my gratitude for this Clefable over there, but, 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 uh, right at that near journal. Oh, wait, do you have another one? <laughs> ah, okay, you don't. So yeah, you go write that in your journal. I'll go head on over to the sealed fort because that seems to be the best layer of progression I would say because we've unlocked it in the game story and everything like that so seems seems good to go over there now and check it out and well they, uh, they were joking when they said these guys had powerful decks let's, let's put it that way so sealed fortress we should probably use our best deck for the job. And here we are. It's all opened up and ready to go. The ancient tomb of doom. So you can take a look see around here. There's Sprite from Pokemon Game Boy Games. Courtney with a new outfit. Steve, everyone's here. Everyone's here. <laughs> and we sit by the table. Welcome to the Steel Fortress. Dun 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 dun! All the residents of this fort were once feared card game players. Our power was so frightening that we were all locked inside. Fate has brought you to this place. Why not indulge its host requests? Have card battles with us. You will learn the power of your deck. Speak to the statue of the player you wish to challenge. We are all skilled at card combat. Choose your opponent wisely. Dun 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 So yeah, talking to the statues will initiate a duel. Well, if you say yes. So we're gonna go left to right, as usual. Here's a stone statue with an inscription. Ghostmaster Axel, everyone's friend's deck. He uses the power of the wiggly top. <laughs> no. Oh man! <laughs> so they're like, no more PK games. Stop saying no to our dialogue. Just say yes from here on out. Before you can fight, you must sit at the dueling table. Yes, the ancient dueling table with the f faded mats. I'm the youngest master here. Nice to meet ya. Let's start the duel already. Sit down your six prize cards. I'm going to show you my prized everyone's friends deck. He may look young. He may be related to Joey. He may have Rattata. Okay, he doesn't have Rattata, but he has an extremely powerful wiggly deck. So let's do our best with our best deck. Uh, mm, I got Professor Rogue and Energy Removal. That's a nice start. <laughs> but I wonder what I should lead with. Probably the Jigglypuff for the sake of sleeping. And because, yeah. And I can always power up the Dratini on the side for Dragonair. So I'm just gonna go for that, and it, you know I can always power up a Wigglytuff as well. But Wigglies are easier to power up than uh, um, than the I'm at a dragon arrow. I just I just said it, dang it! Oh jeez, he's got one already. <laughs> um, all right, lullaby. Maybe I didn't need to <laughs> lullaby a, a sight there because it'll take two turns to power that up. But uh, no, no, no wiki though, no wiki for you. But he can freely switch into the Jiggly, so. Might be still nice to put it to sleep. Oh, geez, double colorless. He's getting that wiggly. He is getting the wiggly. <laughs> so, yeah, um, with energy removal, we probably should focus on keeping that wiggly down, if at all possible. And we're gonna go. Probably dump out our entire hand here. 
because they're probably going to get a Wiggly soon enough or some sort of Dragonair soon enough, so you should probably try and get a one-up on him. Well, there's a Bill. That's kind of nice. Lapras is also kind of nice. Another Bill. Uh, it's like Bill always draws into a Bill, I swear. Ooh. Let's all fill up the bench. Uh, it's booze. And let's pound. He's not going to be really attacking with the Scyther, I don't think. I mean, he, he, he'll probably just end up switching it because of the free retreat cost. You, you see me do that strategy before. I mean, it, I mean, it didn't wake up. Oh, jeez. It's already here. It's oh no! <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I thought you were going to go for the Wiggly for sure. Unless you're just doing that because you wanted to free up the... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well... I've got a dugong for you coming up then. Uh, I'm gonna go and pound, I suppose. He's probably gonna surprise with a double colorless and then just wipe out my jiggly with a full bench or something like that, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Hmm, interesting indeed. Ooh, I got double colorless. That could mean Dragonair will be flopping out soon. Oh, he might. Oh. Wait, did he not swords dance? Because he, he might not be planning to attack with Scyther then. At the very least, I definitely want to get rid of Wigglytuffs. And pound that Scyther into oblivion. Yeah, he could have lots of double colorless in his hand for all I know. He's got to kind of plan for the surprise, basically. Ooh, Pokemon Trader. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Dugong is going to go back in the deck since I already got one. Kind of, kind of weird how they ordered that, but um, I'm gonna go. Wait, should I go Dragonair or should I go Wigglytuff myself? Hmm. I just, just probably should go Wiggly. In all honesty, because I got a pretty decent bench going on. That in on itself is kind of a surprise. So we can wipe out his energy on the site there as well. So. Grab that energy, and here comes the other Wiggly! Double colorless, double- oh. <laughs> Thought you were gonna double colorless for sure! Okay, so please allow me to wake up, Mr. Coin! No! <laughs> no! Well, maybe next turn. Ooh, Professor Oak, or maybe this turn. <laughs> um... Here, let's get that set up. And... Now, nah, I, I, I won't use the Professor. I don't want to dump my double colorless. It's, it, it's such a useful card. Oh no, not the computer search! He can pick his, pick through his deck for any card he pleases. He went, guess he went for Professor Oak, which is probably a good choice. Dump two cards, get Professor Oak to get seven out of it. I thought he was going for something in specific there, so it kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, so yeah, it looks like he is indeed filling up the bench, as expected. So that Wiggly is now at full power. Alright, wake up this time. Uh, other than, you know, it doesn't have the energy it needs. Uh, Alright, so we gotta go... We gotta do something pretty quick here. Um, We do have Dugong. Maybe I should just discard what I got and... Yeah, just kinda see if I can get a Dragonair and start sucking the energy out of things. I got Pokemon Trader, so there is my Dragonair. Plop a star you. Well, unless it's in the prize cards. It probably isn't. There we go. Dragonair is going on there. Unfortunately, yep. We're still a little bit a little bit behind on the energy. So we gotta gotta do our focus. Double colorless. Oh he's got another one! <laughs> so yeah, and with all those high HP critters that he has, it's very hard to knock them out as well, because they're all those powerful basic Pokemon that I've I've showed you how powerful they are to use in general. So yeah, he's Augusta Wind. Sneaky sneaky. Uh, so you're just gonna... Uh, I was gonna say you're just gonna double colorless and then wipe out Dratini, right? No, you're not. Okay, so you just didn't want me to knock out your Wiggly Ice. Ooh, super energy, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Um... I should definitely plop something on the bench there. And I guess I'll put that on Dragonair and end my turn. It doesn't much matter if he knocks out the Dragonair, I suppose. Uh, I'll... I mean, excuse me, if he knocks out the Dratini, I suppose. Oh, there's the double colorless! 
Uh -huh, I knew you had it! I knew it! I knew it was coming! Uh, we're gonna go... I think I'll go... Dugong, actually. Not Dragonair yet, because I'll, I'll be energy removaling the Wiggly just by the knockout. So he's probably gonna then put in the other Wiggly and then start the wiping out of stuff on my side, so... Yeah, just, just kind of planning for the future here. So I'm gonna go Aurora Beam. And here, you can tell he's got a powerful deck because he's really, really making me think to beat him. <laughs> Alright, so there's the Wiggly. Number two, double colorless, right? Right? Yeah, I, I, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. You, you, you just plop it on there. You do, you do your thing. Oh, what? Really? I guess you don't. You got, I think you have four in your deck, so you should probably... Mm -hmm. I, I figured you'd have had one with all that draw, but... Oh, man! I should probably super energy remove a lot now. So we're gonna discard, I suppose, the water off the Dragonair, since the Dragonair can attack anywhere. Um... I guess put it back on. And end the turn. No wakeys, that's okay. It's only It only matters if I wake up after his turn, in all honesty. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I wake up back to his turn, when I'm not going to be able to attack anyway, you know? Aw, oh, man. Alright, now he's gonna probably going to double colorless. <laughs> um... I say it. <laughs> I guess I could go... Hmm... I'm thinking I should go for... Another dugong in the future. Pro well, actually, did I discard the other dugong I had? Yeah, I think I did. So maybe I'm gonna have to go jiggly, kind of get that set up for the future. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, nothing we can do that turn to do to the nappy naps. And okay. <laughs> and I wake up. There we go. I was hoping eventually... Okay, energy removal. That could be... important. Because it looks like he's low on, low on energy in general, so... Let's try and stop him from lullabying again. If possible, scoop up. Probably for the Wiggly. Uh, yeah. And put out the Scyther. So yeah, the, the scoop up only returns the basic Pokémon to his hand, so everything else gets flopped on over to the discard pile. But... He was only losing the Wiggly, and he was going to lose it anyway, so that was probably a wise move. Uh, I got <laughs> I got Dratini. It makes me wonder if I should have focused on that. But the other... The power of the Dragonair. But eh, we don't have the energy for it right now anyway. Yeah, he's... He, oh, man. He's got the Hitmonchan. <laughs> yeah, he's... Oh, the scoop up, too. The Scyther, that's for the damage, of course. He just did the free switch, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, I guess I didn't discard my other dugong. Doesn't much matter. But... Alright, so I guess he's been building up those scoop-ups, and oh, he doesn't seem happy about that. I don't find there for probably computer search for probably Professor Oak. Plus power. So he's got an energy then? And no. He's preparing for something. Be funny if I could run him out of cards though. Just, just on the way that we're kind of... That we have so much HP going around here, and he's got the scoop ups for the heal, and there's my other Wiggly. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes after all. The game is not over yet. You may just end up sweeping each other to doom. Energy removal. That's going on that Jiggly. That's going on my Jiggly, and let's Aurora Beam that Scyther for the KO. And Professor Oak, nice to see you. I might just use that. <clears throat> hmm, I mean, I, well, I don't know if I should. Because, oh jeez! Because I was going to say, I don't know if I should because of the, uh... uh I, I, we could end up running each other out of cards. So, we'll, we'll see. I just thought, I'm thinking I should grab some energy. And the wakey, but... I was thinking of switching from Dugong into Dragonair and just starting to energy removal of whatever he has in active. Maybe I won't though, I'll just kind of call it a turn. If he wants to do the wave and do 60 or even 70 with the plus power, he can, I suppose. Computer search for... what? That is the question. 
Another Wiggly, maybe? <laughs> yeah, he's... That, uh, as you can see, he plays a strategy pretty well. <laughs> so, yeah, he's got two Wigglies. None are really powered off, but... You know, I did not wakey-wakey, so... We are dunny dunny, I suppose. Yeah, I think I don't think I'm gonna Professor Oak because we're getting getting low on the turns here due to all of our defensive tactics. Actually, it's mostly his defensive tactics. I'm well, I guess maybe mine too with the energy removal. I'll, I'll use Bill because I'll still have more cards than he will. Double colorless and star you. Um. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I'm gonna stick with my strategy of going the Dragonair. And then we are going to think about our moves. I don't... I don't think I want to attach the double colorless to anything, because that Wiggly is... You know, it's only one energy away, anyway. So I'm gonna go Hyper Beam, wipe out that energy, and just basically keep him down, if at all possible. Because he's got quite the arsenal going on here. And... Wait, 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 he didn't attach an energy, so then I guess I could try a slam. Yeah, let's go for it. Probably, I'll probably get, at least get one head out of it. Yeah, there we go. So I was like, if I could get two heads, I'd get the KO, but that's a no-go. Uh, I don't find her for a switch, maybe? Scoop up. Uh, probably for that Wiggly, then. Just kind of burn things even more. <laughs> Alright. So, he's put the Jiggly back in play, but it's kind of, I don't know, it might be too late for... Too late for Delios like that at this point, he's getting low on the turns. I did zero damage, though! <laughs> but yeah, I think it was wise to not Professor Oak, because otherwise I would have been out of, already out of cards, as you can see here, so... I'll just hold on to that. And I guess I'll power Dugong back up. Assuming I'm able to, I don't, I don't know how many... Energy cards are left in my deck. I suppose I could check that just by counting, but quite frankly, I don't feel like it. <laughs> There's like two heads. I kind of made up for zero the last turn. Uh, scoop up for what? The Scyther? Yeah, okay. And uh, Jiggly. So we go for Pokemon Trader. Ooh. I don't really have anything to trade, do I? Alright, let's slam. <laughs> Maybe I can get two heads and outright knock out the Jiggly? Wow! <laughs> was not expecting that, actually. That's pretty nice. Ooh, super energy removal. That might very well be game there. Uh, Scyther is out in the fray. Jiggly is asleeping all day. Mm. Mm. Hyper Beam, I guess. That seems like the wise move for the sake of the energy card to keep things all nice and safe you have one turn left mister oh got the pound oh, I see <laughs> I guess that works I guess uh, that works uh, I'll just hyper beam not even gonna energy removal because it's save that for yeah all right so yeah that was pretty stally game uh, well actually I don't you know I don't <laughs> I ran a lot of cards, and I took the last prize card. <laughs> That's like a double victory there. That was a pretty good duel, I've got to say. Woo! Eh, I lost? <laughs> Guess i got to give you a booster pack, then. Woo! You know the presents can contain any card from any pack in the game, so let's see what we get. Probably mostly duplicates from all the packs that we got. All duplicates. The deck is certainly a tough one, after all, I must admit. See you later! Woo! So you can rebattle if you want to, but the next duelist is right next to him. There's a stone statue here with a description. Ghostmaster Magician Invincible Pokemon deck. So you can imagine it's kind of on the defensive side. I'll be happy to fight you. It's been tiring waiting for opponents. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> by profession and by name, I am known as Magician. So, your name is actually even Magician like normally. It isn't like a nickname or something like that. I see. Our card battle will be a full game with six prize cards. Allow me to show you my invincible Pokemon deck. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Alright. 
what you got. I kind of forgot what you have in your deck, but I'll remember as we go, probably. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, ooh. Ah, uh, ooh. Um... I think what I'm gonna do here is lead with Lapras, trade Staryu for Seal, and then go for the Dugong. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. So let's begin our trade. It's probably a seal in my deck unless it's in my prize cards, which I highly doubt. Uh, there we go. Plop that on the bench. And that's that's a pretty invincible Pokemon you got there, by the way. And Water Gun. So let's go ahead and start nicking away at that Chansey, because it could take forever. <laughs> Bill probably will get himself another basic. And two cards, I think. It's probably gonna be another stall battle. <laughs> the most for chance he has on the Ben Tentacool. Uh, yeah, even cowardice is uh, a factor there. But we'll see what we have to do in order to win this game. Because for all I know, I could just kind of rapidly accelerate and attack everything into oblivion as he'll be stalling so I can build up my forces basically. Abra into Kadabra is a go-go. and a switch, right? No. Oh. I thought you were going to switch straight over to Kadabra. Oh, that, that's right, you can't because Side Panic is... Okay, um... We're going to go then. Wipe out the energy on Kadabra. And power up the Dugong. Water Gun. Stick with the strategy. Stick with the strategy. I mean, he's got a lot of stall power here anyway, so it doesn't appear like he's going to be attacking very rapidly. So we're going to go like that. Get a water gun. Watch on double colorless and just wipe out Lapras. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. He's, oh, he is going. He is, oh, geez. He actually is going for the double edge if he's powering up with three there. Interesting. Little Salaporter could get him some stuff. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, no! That's Damage Swap Alakazam, which means he'll move the damage counters off Chansey and uh, to something else. So that's his plan, I see. At least right now, it's his plan. It's get the Chansey powered up for Double Edge's 80. Well, yeah, then move the damage counters as I'm not able to. Mm hmm. So we're gonna do that then, since I see what's going on. And we're gonna water gun just for the fun of it. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, his Pokemon certainly feel pretty, pretty invincible at the moment. <laughs> Alright. Uh, actually, I don't know. We're, we're doing decently. Water gun. And. Nothing. <laughs> it's just like I said for the fun of it. Alright, Scyther, Mr. Mime. Mm hmm. Trying to knock out those resistances, I see. And no damage still, wow. Alright. So you do that. You're probably gonna actually end up knocking out my. Lapras at this rate. Oh, water gun. Where's my Professor Oak, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Could, I have three copies of there. Maybe I should put a fourth just to have extra draw power. I don't know. And nothing. So yeah, he is definitely going for that double edge. There's a Professor Oak. All right. Uh, I could attach that to the Dugong. I, I suppose. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> just in case. I don't know. He's, Energy removal, something. I don't remember exactly what he has in that regard. So we're gonna star you there. Go for star me. Also could go for dragon air. That could be, could be useful. Um. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. It didn't work. That. <laughs> Just uh, used to it working. Alright, so damage swap over to the other Chansey. Energy on the... I was gonna say energy on the Chansey, but no. I guess he's out of energy. I see. Hmm. That makes me wonder... If I should go for... 
I thought she'd go for the switch, but nah. I think I'll just keep it, keep nicking away at the chance that you get damage. It'll keep damage swapping anyway. So yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> just put out the other chance he has backup, I suppose, while powering up the other one. Uh, maybe. I, I, I don't quite understand that move in all honesty, unless he just wants to do it on the side. Uh, guess I'll go for the confuser. If I can get confusion, that would be pretty nice. There we go. Very nice, so. And yeah, it's been a pretty stally game so far. I, I, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't. Anyway, let's go for the star me, and I guess I'll start water gunning then, so I could do more damage. I could even um, attach another energy to Lapras to keep the keep them forcefully damage swapping, and you know filling up the damage on other Pokemon quicker as well as quick as possible. So I guess I'll go for that since I've got ample energy cards. There is now 30 for you to redistribute, mister. <laughs> so he's probably gonna scoop up something. Maybe the Chansey or maybe the Tentacool. Or... Wait, no, the, the, the Tentacool's the... Uh, it's gotta be in play, right? Whoops, whoops. Tentacool's gotta be in play for cowardice. Uh, oh no, you, you could actually use the Tentacool for infinite healing, that's right. Well, up to 20 HP per cowardice, I suppose. Oh, wait, actually, wait, wait, hold on. No, no, I said once per turn, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, you could do that many times over, but no. Uh, you can only do 20 damage per tentacle per turn, I suppose, damage swap. Mm -hmm. You do that cowardice time. There it is. He puts it back in play. Uh, okay. Neutral damage, sure. Tentacool is going back in play with full health. Damage swap for the combo. And the switch. And neither of us has taken prize cards, by the way. <laughs> it's so stally! Uh, hmm. How about we do this? Let's go for the Dragonair. We're gonna go Dratini. And we're gonna plop that on there. Get that, because we don't have another double colorless out in the fray there. So let's water gun that Mr. Mime. And he's gonna put two in uh, put two on the cowardice. Oh wait, what Wait, which which one did he scoop up then? If he put the What I don't Huh? Cause he did Ah uh, because that tenant cool already had the twenty, hop what? I, <laughs> did he not cowardice the one that had damage on it? He was supposed to. If it, <laughs> am I not following correctly? <laughs> Alright, you do the damage swap. I'm putting it all on Chansey, okay? I thought he was going to keep going for the Cowardice, but... Alright. So yeah, this is, this is why his Pokémon are quote-unquote invincible. Wait, I should go double colorless. There we go. Uh, because of the powers of the Alakazam combos. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to remember yeah, what his deck does after a little while here. Uh, so he's gonna be scooping up probably. Double colors to Chansey. Uh, that's probably worthy of super energy removal, in all honesty. So I'm gonna go discard that. Discard that and that. And continue with the damaging. <laughs> Let's not take prize cards the entire game, folks. <laughs> I'm not doing a pretty good amount of damage, so. I could swap over to the uh, Dugong, but I think what he's gonna do is then he's gonna go for like a really powerful attack to wipe out my Dugong, then I have then I have a my ace attacker is gone then, you know what I mean? But should I anyway? That is the question. Probably not, because <laughs> they're both kind of in a in a spot of stalemate, so to speak. Only I'm actually doing more damage than than he's able to handle at this point. I think. I mean, yeah, he, he could heal 20 per turn, but I'm able to dish out 10 more. And yeah, that cow. Oh, maybe that's what he was doing. And the last turn, he no, no, that couldn't be. Because he could have immediately cowardice anyway to put that tentacle back. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna start you energy roll. Let's go. Oh, should I have actually used that? Actually, no, I'm gonna hold on to that. Should I have used that bill? Like, man, like, if we're gonna stall out the cards again, maybe I should not use any more... <laughs> any more draw cards, you know? Well, we'll see. I don't know, I think he's gonna get more draws of his own, so... Uh, Alright, Alakazam. So, I guess he's going for the Confuse Ray Alakazam, then. So, we're gonna do that, then. Water gun. Yeah, I, th I don't... I think he's actually running out of HP here. <laughs> Just in general. Alright, you do the Cowardice Heal. I will do... Uh, yeah, you're kind of running out. So I'll actually be able to knock out the Mr. Mime. Wow, interesting. Alright, Water Gun! <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to win this by taking all the prize cards after all! I don't know, we'll see. Alright, Alakazam, you don't have anything at the moment. Oh! Actually, since you put out Alakazam, if I confuse you, I'll be able to stop you from using Damage Swap. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, and I just realized something with Nightly Garbage on. He could put cards back in his deck, which makes, yeah, actually kind of puts me in a more awkward spot in terms of stalling than I thought. So, anyway, got some confusion off there. So, no more damage swap for you, mister. And... What's he gonna do? Oh, okay, now we're, now we're ahead in cards again. <laughs> it's, it's a game of math now! <laughs> okay, so even if he uses a nightly garbage run, he'll, he'll uh, still have cards... Le I mean, he'll have less cards than I do. So, it's looking like he's gonna go for <laughs> another Alakazam for the sake of damage swap. So we're gonna go... Actually, what should we go? <laughs> um... I guess I should put out Jiggly and try and go for the Wiggly, because it seems like we're not going to be knocking out all that much anytime soon. At least that's what it looks like. So, just probably going to stall out until I get a Wiggly. <laughs> just how things are going to end up going. He doesn't have a. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, is there a Wiggly? There is a Wiggly. <laughs> I guess I can plop that in place since it's got Lullaby anyway. And Water Gun the Alakazam. There we go. And as you can tell, his Pokemon may seem invincible, but they're not totally invincible. <laughs> I'm not going to use that bill. <laughs> just, just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> just get my stuff from prize cards. Alright, so you can do a bunch of damage. Ooh, that might be a problem. You can do a bunch of damage with Kadabra, but maybe even worse with Alakazam. If he gets heads, I'm okay. Um, now this is making me wonder if I should Water Gun and then Dugong that Alakazam, or if I should just go for the Confuse Ray. Probably just go for the Confuse Ray. Oh man. <laughs> because I figured that the. Uh, I could stop the damage swap if I managed to cause confusion. Uh, well. I would go for that cowardice if I were you. <laughs> no? Like, why wouldn't you just keep cowardicing the energy, I mean, the, the damage off of other critters anyway? Hmm. Uh, Dratini is Wiggly. So you didn't confuse me, I didn't confuse you. Oh, man! <laughs> okay, now the cowardice is gonna come into play. Uh, but yeah, see, as long as I have something that doesn't wipe out that much HP, you know, he's just gonna be able to keep doing that anyway, that's why I want to confuse it, if at all possible, but he's just gonna end up knocking out Lapras. Uh, should I go Dragonair and start sucking up his energy then? <laughs> probably should, although maybe not, because I think he's probably got a bunch in his hand. So maybe I should just go, uh, do, are you even with, mm. Mm. No, oh, 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 I know, I'll go star me. Because of the power of paralysis. Star Freeze, come on heads, come on heads, yes! And then I'll put it into range of Wigglytuffs, do the wave, so I'll switch over to it, and then wipe out the Alakazam after the paralysis ends. Well, I was hoping that I would get, you know, <laughs> I was hoping that I would get a paralysis out of that. 
And see, I, got, I only got one, but you know, I got others in waiting in the wings, but now I wonder which one I should plop out there. I should probably go for another Jiggly, since everything's super stally. <laughs> and let's do the wave to finish off this Alakazam. There we go! Chansey's out. It's not looking too hot, but neither is my Wiggly after... <laughs> nah, it's actually fine. Because it's gonna do 82 itself, which is gonna be a double KO. So, and then he's gonna have to put out something else that's low on HP. Of which I'm going to... <laughs> yeah! This is the position that I put him in, basically. <laughs> Uh, and I, I guess he could have put out Mr. Mime or Scyther, but that probably wouldn't be wise in all honesty. Uh, wait a second. Should I go for another dragon here? I could. I should have just. No, I'll go for the dragon here since I got it in hand. Alright, Aurora Beam. Oh, actually, maybe I should have did Ice Beam because it would have been more fun to see what would have came out of it. Alright. His last ditch effort is the Scyther! Nothing. Uh, mm, mm, yeah, I guess I'll do that. I suppose. I mean, it will take a while to power up the Dragonair, but I think we are in good shape. I'm gonna go for the Paralysis, because the Scyther just may want to switch and he may have something with higher HP. And that appeared to be a wise decision. Alright. That means victory is mine once again! That was another good duel! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, these are heck of a heck of players here. <laughs> oh ho! You're quite confident to have won against me! Here, take this gift. I reward all those who defeat me. Present booster pack, heck yeah! 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 <laughs> The power of the rain dance has been doubled. Uh, energy removal too. Wow, uh, this is like the pack of champions. I got got the speedball Voltar, potion energy, which is handy as well. <laughs> you have my deepest thanks for a truly memorable battle. I'll be leaving now. You do that, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle the third member, which, well, it's, it's kind of in order, you know. <laughs>